with uh, Enter the Gungeon. Um, we've been aiming recently to try and uh, get through the Lich at the end of Bullet Hell. But for today, we're just going to try and uh, smash through as many runs as we can pretty quickly, pretty cavalier, uh, get right back on top of things. So we just want some raw unlocks, so let's see what we can do. All right, we'll roll with the pilot, going alternate costume, and we're off to the races. takedowns in these first couple of rooms, but, you know, nothing fancy going on yet, not going to be for a bit. Things won't really pick up until we get a few better guns. Probably a couple seconds to breathe. Might come back for it if we need to. Blue, you open it, done. Elephant gun, nice. Thing will clear stuff a good bit faster. It will help us out when we can group enemies up or get them in a line. A bit of spread and a small clip. This is a uh, excellent gun for the uh, marine. That faster reload time would really help us out. It's got the loot bag, some keys, some other stuff. Not important. I'm a little nervous about the elephant gun versus the boss. We're gonna have to spend most of our time dodging. Come back around for that in a sec. Shave that a bit too close. Alright. 
brown ones, we're gonna try to lockpick. If that doesn't work, we're just gonna break them open. Um, green ones too for this. our option view we have we spent a key earlier and shopkeep's got one key for sale so if we get one key from the boss we can do the Juliet if not we're moving on trigger twins got what two blanks Switch targets over. Make sure that we're not having like a maxed out health on our second guy. Put him on the walls, pretty controlled. Sloppy dodge. An angry buddy on the far side. Screwed up. Walk into that bullet. Imperfect. Bummer. Just the one hedge money credit. Full hearts. We've got a weird balloon gun thing. Who knows what's going on with this. Nothing we want to buy. Moving. Probably buy a key. We already made our choices. We could have looked for secret rooms. Whatever. Didn't do it. I have never seen nor fired this abomination. It's like it sends out little tornadoes. What the? It popped! That's rude. Do I get that back? Okay. So that was either a really amazing gun that we just lost out on, or it's just a crappy gun. It's my fault for taking hits to some extent, but we need a break. Not a lot of cover going on here. Unfriendly. The Amulet of the Pit Lord, which I believe is unlocked for throwing a certain number of things in the pits. Glass Shrine gives us three glass Guon stones for no exchange. That one's just a freebie. Unlock Glass Armor. Neat. Uh, heavy Boots, I believe, prevent us from being knocked back. Uh, the Sling is a pretty good gun. I'll take it. We'll throw the rest at the Gnawed Key. Our bank shots do bonus damage, I'm not entirely sure. We'll see if we can't, you know, keep banking a few shots.
things for sure. If we're not manipulating the range, we're not using this gun right. And I mean, we paid for it, so, you know. All right. Got a little map guy over on the left there. He's gonna require a key to get into his room. I would love to get some hearts before fighting the boss. But, you know, if we don't, that is our fate. We should have played better. Get good. Get good. I'd like to take that down before it fires the second round of shots. Thank you for pointing out where you are. You get keys. Move along. Um, block pick successfully. We've got the portable turret, which is amazing. Carry two items as the pilot, so we'll just tuck away our um, our lock picks. Half a sling left. Only a few more rooms to go around here. Gotta stay calm in a room like that. Unlock successfully, we get a short a shot bow. Which is a crossbow shotgun. This will probably turn out to be our boss killer for this floor. Um, and we've got some kind of vampire guy through there. Got some stuff that we failed to unlock. The key for him is either through here or the boss is open. Try my luck at reloading the um, the balloon gun. Probably want to throw that thing into a muncher. Let's go talk to this fellow. He's the boss room and rooms beyond don't count for his room checks, I believe. Hey, buddy, what's up? Deckard, unicorn of handguns. Alright, I... Is there any kind of special description on this thing? I know we're trying to play fast, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna read something. Curious. Still gotta learn, after all. Yeah, I've been unlocking stuff. Okay. Fires massive explosive rounds. Got it, so it's probably just does pretty good damage. Oh, those are exploding shots. That's pretty cool. Alright. Make use of this portable turret. Ah, the ammo conda. In this monster thing. Last two on stones were taking care of me for a really long time there, but I just couldn't keep it up in the end. Cursed bullets, some armor. Go unlock this little fella.
Not a member of the gun dead, just regular old undead. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. Don't have, don't have a use for keys. So I'll throw more into the gnaw key. Um, he doesn't want the balloon gun. <laughs> it's not good enough. Oh man. All right. Let's see what we can do. We can take another. We can take a whole another three hits. Never mind that we haven't gotten any um, any perfect boss clears, any master rounds. No. No, it's, it's fine. All these cursed bullets and this, uh, you know, magnum thing do pack a punch. Whoa. bullets are pretty powerful. gun left. It's a shame, it's been real fun. That room's toast. Shop keep down here. Hey, how's it going? Okay, nothing passive to buy. Alright. Freeze ray. Very expensive, but I think they've powered up ice since I used to, uh, since my heyday, as it were. Alright, that's it for that gun. We'll move back the elephant gun for a bit. Oh. First bullets, a lot of power. Got a buff caster in this room. And that'll kill us because of the buff. Should dodge better. Alright, not a good run. Let's go again. Four or five hedge money credits there. Basically.
last one. It's like space invaders. Oh, oddly hard to hit. Zig when I should have zapped. Red chest, let's go. Fat bullets. Yep, that's fat. find two keys, we're a go for the Ubiet. And um, with fat bullets, we can just fight the boss with a basic pistol. Okay. It's the only time ammo is dropped that I haven't had a, a gun that even uses ammo. All right, lose some hearts, get some cash, buy a key, if we can find some more hearts, we can cash in on that pretty nicely. I can tell the telegraph and the flame now. Need one more key to access the UBA. This is the treasure room. Blue chest. Alright, we'll think about it. Let's fight the boss first. And uh, if the boss drops us a key, then we'll try to pick the chest and go to you yet. If we get no key from the boss, then we'll just open it. It's a blue chest. It's good enough that we don't want to risk a 50-50 in the lockpicks. The Gatling Girl. Certainly hope I can do this without a shield. Though the explosions are often way bigger than you think. Ah, missed the flip on that table. Fat bullets do lose us a bit of range, which is very unfortunate here. Now 
Man, we cut that close six ways to Sunday. That was not good. We got the key. So we'll pop over here, take a chance on this. No good. Hearts. Nice. Turns out we need those. That's actually a net gain from our small interaction with our vampire vendor here. It's pretty fun. Alright, Charmed Bow is a much better weapon than we've been using. Let's move on to the UV. Let's play better. That's a fun idea. slime out of the way a bit faster. The effect of the charm bow has a very high occurrence rate. So this is going to allow us to clear a lot of things way more safely than we should be able to. that being charmed will basically clear the room. It's done. Got the shop here, got rocket power bullets, some keys. Might go. probably want to come back to those rocket power bullets. I think that might offset the ranged loss we're enduring. only weapon setups where we are disincentivized from focusing fire. Yeah, I'd rather not try to pick that. I'd rather just get it. Thank you. And the M16, complete with underslung grenades. I keep using the charm bow for general enemies on the floor. Barrels don't help much when all the enemies are already being a sewer mutants.
pretty good. Got a good amount of stuff. Fight for my amusement. Alright, they were not in the mood to be charmed. Lock kick? You got it. Scatter shot. Cool. Gonna take us a key to get to the um, old crest. That's unusual. Shots. Getting a lot of shells. I like it. It was it's been very considerate of some of these guys to just walk off of ledges for me. Really appreciating that thought of this. Okay, um, we've got just one area we haven't gone to yet. Um, over here, we do have another key for sale. Um, so we're going to use that because it'll let us get access to the old crest. Um, we have found two chest rooms. Two chest rooms, because both of these are chest rooms. So let's go fight, fight the boss. We're going to fight him with the M16. Against the Blobby Lord. Getting perfect or not against the Blobby Lord doesn't matter, but he gets us an item, and he'll get us some drops, so that's good. Getting perfect against him also isn't usually too hard. Let's just jinx ourselves right off the bat. That's a great idea. Oh, yes. On reload, we flip over to a grenade clip. Oh, screen shake almost got me there. And we'll get him before he's in the old phase. Yeah, Scattershot is an incredible damage multiplier. Freeze Ray, Ice to meet you. down here and grab this. I think we'll be using the freeze ray for a bit. It should be a very safe weapon. And um, before we get out of here, I'm not sure if the freeze ray would be breaking open walls anyway. I'm just looking for wall cracks. Who knows? All right. We want to find that uh, extra side room as fast as possible without taking a hit. Alright. 
anything we're shooting the freeze ray over is going to be difficult to walk through, so we got to bear that in mind. Blank there. Got a veteran shotgun over that way. All right. Positioning with the table. Congratulations, me. Lock picked. All right, we've got the heroin. Just recently unlocked this gun, and uh, I think with scatter shot, this is really going to be something. Yeah, that's really something. Looks like we've got a mini boss here. It's possibly a bit troubling. Yeah, this guy is not a pushover. Yep, took a hit. Shot short. Troubles of glass, screw on stone, a map, and key. There are two charge up stages to the heroin. We want to try and make sure we're hitting the second stage. Dead, the room's already dead. This will one shot anything under the gun. Alright, boss room there. Done deal. Ooh, we've got a secret room down there. That's good to be aware of. sign even say? I don't think I've ever read this. Okay, just a quick little gameplay tip. You can afford sunglasses. You cannot afford a clown mask. It's one of those secret theft-only items. Let's buy sunglasses. I'm certain they're cool. Slows down time and increases dodge power during explosions. Cool, guys. Don't look at explosions. Alright. That's fun. Got a key for brown chest there. Um, that it's usually not a very good deal. So we can go over and burn our lock picks on this green chest once we get past this other room. And then we'll probably turn over a good probably turn over a good hundred shells. That was not really worth um, our use of a blank. All right. 
buy an extra key before we sink the rest of our cash. And why not? Let's see what this brown chest has in store. Mostly because I would like to have at least one blank for the boss fight. It's nothing. What a punk. the M16 again, because it is ruinously powerful. We're up against the Beholster. of that one blank, we're able to uh, get the master round for this. We've got a synergy bonus on the trash can because we're carrying junk. We'll reload that. The heroin does not need reloading very often. She's uh, pretty great. And we're moving right along. lock down a couple more master rounds, this will be looking to uh, be in a much better place. Maybe we can just pull on this armor for a while. find out after this if there's a way to disable the explosion screen shape, because I don't see how it could ever help. It's not a pleasing visual effect. It doesn't make me feel better about the guns. It's just problematic. Of course, issue with the trash cannon, especially with um, the spread shot, it's going to fill the room with nonsense. And we accidentally fired it there, so everybody can see how much nonsense it is. Um, can I just shove you off of this stupid thing? I really don't want to deal with him attacking it at all. Not while the room is full of poison, at least. eating my shots. Am I duffing into my own glass goo on stone? I have no idea what's going on. Right. Okay, I'm just having a hell of a time shooting around this, like, singular tiny obstacle. going to be that way, then everything can just kind of die. There. That's not going to miss. The power difference between a semi-charged and a fully charged uh, heroin is pretty notable. Neat. 
hexagon. This thing's amazing. Oh, it's blocking. Hey, buddy. Alright, alright, yeah, yeah. I need to read that dialogue in there. not performing super well here. If he summons any more of those minions, I will possess them. Oh man, I cannot use the hexagon effect and do the scatter shot. That's not gonna happen. Roll over him with grenades. Welcome to being a ghost. Ooh, a briefcase of cash! I really dig that. Alright. Next shot we find, we get to uh, have a bit of a spending spree. And uh, that'll unlock for us Block Nurse Gun as well. Okay, that is almost assuredly lackluster. Two on stones. both our chest rooms yet. I'll spend a key on it, whatever. Cluster Mines! It's an actual usable weapon. Well, not a usable weapon, but an on-use item, rather. I'm going to use the hexagon for room clearing for a bit. It's a very high power gun, the single uh, single shot in the chamber. So having it clear out more than one target is just absolutely brutal. It's also got a very high chicken rate. I'll try to lock it. Um, you know what, we have so much money, we're going to check the shop for keys first. Okay, there's a key and this hip holster uh, I believe is related to it's either related to switching guns or ammunition All right, a bionic leg will get us a little bit of armor when we first pick it up and make us move faster which is 
plenty fun. Um, we don't really have any guns that we care to sell. I'm tempted to sell the trash cannon. But selling guns is something you should do when you need money, and we don't. That's, that's one room you can take out entirely just by hitting plungers. It's good fun. Alright. Still got full ammunition for the M16. Let's go. Mind flame. Alright. How are we doing on blanks? We got two. We used one earlier. Yeah, we got one left. right at the end with that. Laser rifle. And we've got a synergy with the scatter gun for laser light show. We've got the keys. Let's check this out. All right, getting ripped off. Um, yeah, we'll buy it. What is the effect of quick draw? We've unlocked the coin crown. Neat. Fires a bullet upon reloading. That is devastating with weapons like the hexagon. Okay, so that's a that's a better item than I remembered. It. Um, let's check for secrets real quick. This looks like the likeliest secret room. Nope. Alright. Um, given the shape of the map, there's not too many other places where the secret room could be hiding. Not there. Alright, moving on. We don't need to be exhausted about all this. Eager to use this um this gun holster combo anyway. Alright. Access to the holster, the holster shot, it seems, is not affected by our scatter shots, which is, you know, um, good and bad. So it means that we can work around our own scatter shots, get some accuracy back in the gun. something like a hexagon on a room like that, but with Scattershot, that seems fine. We got ammo on the way. I'm um, going to try to pick this. We picked it. We get Muscle Relaxant, which is a synergy with... Oh, this is going to be crazy. Quite a few um, pretty power combos going on. Yeah, we're getting a very focused spread now.
Oh, whoops. Right, next shop. What have we here? Not buying a loot bag, but we'll take a key. Ooh, and the cursed shop. We'll buy a heart locket in exchange for a bit of a curse. Curse shop uh, is not necessarily better items, though the items featured there are generally quite strong. Um, notably, they're cheaper. Feel the effects of that curse already. firing before the reload. So the reload is happening automatically. This would be even more powerful with something like the RPG. Got the barrel. Yeah, we really don't need to be selling stuff. We have not even examined the synergy between uh, we, we haven't even checked out the laser light show. That's that's gonna happen now. We've got three blanks, some a lot of explosives. Just explosives, really the name of the game right now. And we're up against Wallmonger. Okay, decent damage. I'm not convinced that it's uh, super great. Can't see. Yep. Didn't even have time to use the other blanks. Got ourselves another master round, and here we have... What is this? Table Tech Shotgun. Not sure if I've acquired that before. Oh, who are you? I think that guy is typically a vendor, but there's no conversation prompt, so instead, I'm just confused. Moving right along. Go figure. Right, sloppy. knowing. So got a burst of uh, slowed time for a bit there. We got a muncher. You can see throwing like, my ba the barrel to the muncher. Oh, just turned him into a chicken. Okay, table tech shotgun with all of our uh, crazy modifiers. Really hilarious. Oh! Got me. 
in chests. Um, we've got a grand total of two possible other chests. And we lockpicked it. And we're gonna get uh, a super space turtle, which is probably one of the best possible green chest items that's, that's upper tier. We'll just fill this room with fire. Shots left, we've got keys. We use keys. Cartographer's ring. If this pro if this gives us data on bullet hell, that would be very, very nice. Alright. That has been used up. Now we've got it back. I have those hammers in neutral. A lot of ordinary runes. Last chest. Melter. The Winchester's quite good, but we're very late in the run to be concerned about something like that. Take it, just because it's there. Um, and I would like a full reload on item 16. I think that's going to be our kind of crucial uh, boss killer. Um, I could buy something else like... Um, the Bullet Boar is not a bad gun. There's our route to the dragon. We've got a synergy with the bullet bore. Um, of course we do. Cerebral bros. It's a single shooter? It's not usually a single shooter. And that's uh, firing an extra shot at the end. All right. Okay, okay, our fastest damage gun is still going to be the M16. Let's take on the dragon. We can afford a couple of hearts after this if we take some damage. Um, I think the bullet board uh, and the hexagon, both in tandem, will kind of be our core guns for bullet hell. Three synergies right now? Yeah. Laser light show... Um,
Okay, and for the finish, we are going to use the, uh, the bullet board. Or actually, um, probably the heroin. Very, uh, very nearly uh, killed him in that cycle. I'm not sure if killing him in a single cycle is actually possible. That's, uh, take okay. Just lost ourselves a master round. That's a real bummer, but okay. Bad dodge. We've got a lot of options. We're gonna buy the Winchester because it's there. And yeah, because looking at that, it's just bullets. Bullets. Lots of them. Here we go. Alright. Um, we're gonna open up these rooms with the heroin and or the hexagon. We see the map. Okay. We see the map. I'm going to start with the hexagon. This way. Just avoid him until he pops. Save myself a couple shots. Ah, uh, he fired a second shot. Pretty hard to get around before he did that.
Is it bad? Did they fire a shot on death? I don't remember which. Shotgunners cause some real havoc. Uh, I I would almost easily call them the game's nastiest enemy. Whoa! Get out of my face! Blank. All right, there we go. It's almost as good as a as a hard piece. This is really tricky with two jammed enemies. It's got to focus on the parts that deal more damage. Take those out. Move right along. Okay. We're going to be using the bullet core to start with and we'll exchange out uh, as we go and as is necessary. We've got uh, seven pips of health and three um, three blanks and uh, a lot of synergy on our side. Our, uh, one of our goals is going to be not blank in the first phase. Um, I think the second phase is the one that's probably going to give you the most trouble dodging. Phase one, clean. I'm gonna use the M16 for phase two. And I've got cluster mines and I need to remember to chuck them. doing a good job reminding me not to go anywhere near the walls for that phase, which is really obnoxious. Um, I think the bullet bore is probably our strongest uh, gun for this, um, given what we've been seeing in the fight so far. Without the speed boost, we may not be able to keep up with this and we'll become a jump rope attack. That was a jump rope attack. We had half a heart left, but we've done it. That's the first kill of the Lich. So many things working out, difficult stuff, one lot some new items. We had, we had planned for this to be a really you know, casual uh, sit down, but we went and accomplished what we were trying to do in some of our earlier runs. Without the map, without that bullet bore uh, synergy, we randomly decided to buy the bullet bore um, without knowing that that was going to happen for us. Because um, that was a very effect, like that, that fire and forget uh, big boss DPS. Purchasing a holster, having all that money. <sighs> that 
worked out. That worked out. If we hadn't decided to buy the uh, cursed uh, heart locket, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> down to the wire. Down to the wire. I really got to get better at that second phase. But um, that that interlace attack is very difficult to deal with because he will just kind of throw that in on top of the other attacks that he's doing, and the proper way to dodge it basically requires you at the middle of the area uh, of the arena. Um, and you have to walk into one thread, then up, then back through the other thread, and you will pitch it in like a kind of a one, two, three motion. Unlocked. The Cobalt Hammer, the Ancient Hero's Bandana, the Sunlight Javelin, Turtle Problem, the Gungeon Blueprint, and the Riddle of Lead. We had a bunch of items, only two Master Rounds. <laughs> If we had mastered round the dragon, we would have had an easier time. We would not have needed the heart. So yeah, um, yeah. Fat bullets, scatter shot. That is pretty ruinous amount of power. Evil bench. Whew! How many hegemony credits do we get for killing the lich? All right. Now. In terms of unlocks for Lich kills, I'm not certain how they work. I don't know if there's an objective for killing the Lich once with every available Gungeoneer. Uh, so we're going to have to find that out. I'm probably going to do a little bit of wiki cruising. Now for 20 hollow point right there. Whew. My roll bomb, why not? Oh, it's the Morph Ball Bomb. Cool. We'll buy a few more things here. Yeah, with access to the Space Friend and the Yari Launcher, yeah, we're near the tip end of what is available here. Um, Broccoli is actually overpowered. It gives a big suite of stat boosts. Um, and Space Friend is one of the... Uh, is is another follower. Followers are always, always quite powerful in... They're especially powerful in Enter the Gungeon because they do damage without any risk. And that's huge. So just pick that up. Oh, I should probably inform um, Sir Manuel that I've uh, killed his treacherous um, old friend Blockner. I think I can have a quick chat with him if I pop in here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that gives us access to Blockner's gun, the Betrayer's shield. So, that could show up a bit later. Alright, with the Lich slain, I think we're going to uh, call that an evening. Um, more runs to come. We've got plenty of challenges still left in the Gungeon. Two more Gungeoneers uh, left to unlock. Can cultists be played without? No, it's it's only only co-op for the cultist. Um, yeah, we've got um, a couple more gungeoneers to unlock, uh, as well as some modes that we haven't unlocked yet. <laughs> Two of them will have some dialogue. Have we gotten this room up here yet? No, this entire room is all about alternate game modes that we have not you know picked up on yet. Uh, but soon. Soon. Until next we wander, Exile signing off.